Hey there, and welcome to this week's Sunday Musings, where every week I spend a little time talking about something that's been on my mind. So this week is another unexpected wisdom, where I look at phrases from children's books, and well, I've been reading a lot of them, and uh, there's some pretty good gems in there. So this week I selected the book, Oh, The Places You'll Go. I've done it before and I'm sure I'll do this one again. It's got some great stuff. It's a Dr. Seuss book. And the phrase I decided to talk about today was, you can get so confused that you'll start in to race towards a most useless place, the waiting place. Everyone is waiting. No, that's not. I wanna talk about the waiting place because that's something that really sort of resonates with me. Lately, occasionally I found myself stuck, waiting for others to act or waiting for this or waiting for that. And it's something that I really struggle with. I am not always the best person on teams. I like to get things done. I like to be in control of things. I like to work out great plans and make sure that things happen. And I'm not always good at waiting for others. So there's twofold in this. The first is having to wait for others and being frustrated and not taking over and just doing what they were supposed to do to make it happen. Uh, That's something I know I struggle with and I'll talk about that another time. But the other time is about having too many things going on to where I get frozen in or locked in. And I know I'm not alone in this. There are so many choices in our world. I mean, have you ever just even looked at a a list of restaurants and gone, oh my God, I can't decide. Those menus are too big. And then picked the simple hamburger joint on the corner where you only have to choose cheeseburger or hamburger because it was simpler. Or just saying, oh, no, no, you decide. I don't want to, because we just want to let one thing go. We have so many choices, and sometimes it's easy for some people to make snap decisions. And sometimes people take forever and never decide because they're frozen. Or we get overwhelmed by all of the things we need to do, and fear and uncertainty and pressure and stress in our life. And we just sort of sit there and start spinning thinking about all the things we need to do and doing none of them. And those are where we get stuck in the waiting place. Now, I really encourage you to go to Medium and check out my blog, the link's here. I have a little excerpt from Dr. Seuss in there and I talk about this in a few different ways. But where I wanna talk to you about right now is the problem with the waiting place and maybe how to get out of it. In some ways, the waiting place is safe. If you don't make a decision and you don't act, then are you responsible for what happens? You can just sort of sit there and avoid responsibilities and consequences. You can defray and maybe somebody else who likes to take charge and get things done and isn't good at waiting for others will suddenly come over and take that on and it's no longer your responsibility and they take over and do it. But when you're stuck, you have a choice because sometimes waiting for someone else to do it or a decision to be made or something to happen means that you don't get control over what's going on. You don't get to influence, you don't get to participate. So you're choosing to step away and disengage. And maybe that's not what you wanna do. Maybe you wanna be involved. And if you step and wait too much, then you might even get overlooked the next time there's something where you might be invited to be a part of because you get a reputation of never doing and always hanging out, waiting. Sometimes though, the hardest thing to do is to take a moment longer in that waiting place. And instead of focusing outward on, I need to do this, I need to make this decision, I've got all these things to do. Instead, it's about 
closing your eyes and focusing inward and looking at yourself, practicing self-awareness, self-reflection to understand what is holding you in the waiting place. Is it a lack of information? If it is, where do you need to go to get the information so that you can get out? Is it a lack of skill? If so, is there somebody you should invite in to help you get something done or advice or something you need to learn? Is it fear? And what are you fearing? And what is the consequence of not doing, of staying? Thinking about all that can sometimes jiggle things loose and let you feel like you can start moving forward. If I think back about the few times I wound up hanging out in the waiting place, I'm not sure I could ever pick a specific action that landed me there. Um, in some things, I can be in the waiting place in one area of my life for a period of time, maybe even months waiting for something to happen. And I know when I do end up there in that part of my life, I usually am frustrated. I'm not happy. Um, it just feels stalled or trapped. Other times in one part of my life, I'm going, 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 and I never even see the waiting place. I'm going too fast. Maybe I'm not always appreciating, but I feel stuck in this one other area. So I can really focus over here and go and go and go because the more I focus here, the more I can ignore what's happening over in the waiting place. And again, that's not always healthy. You need to look for balance and be self-aware. This is a good time for calling on your personal board of directors to help you maybe bounce ideas off of and figure out what's going on. Uh, my personal cheerleading squad, they're awesome. They're different from my personal board. Their only job in the world is to sit there and listen to me vent and tell me I can do it, to believe in me. In turn, I have a job of believing in them and telling them that. So sometimes I just need somebody to cheer me out of that waiting place and that place of stalling. Change is hard and change is not always comfortable. And leaving the waiting place means you are embracing some type of change. And that's okay. Give yourself compassion. Acknowledge your fears. Don't ignore them. And then take a step out and do. And then give yourself credit and practice some self-care and give yourself a little bit of a break after because it was probably really hard. So how about you? Have you ever found yourself hanging out in the waiting place? What did you do to leave? Do you have a story you'd like to share? I'd love to hear from you. And until next week, take care.